Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. Do you notice how the media does things to condition us? Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. You have to recondition yourself by the renewing of your mind. Because what you see on TV, what you see in movies, is what you call uh, trying to program the masses. And what I see is they program you, these are the things they'll program you to do. You have a crisis in your life, right? So what do you see the actors in the movies doing when they have a crisis? They grab a bottle of liquor and they grab that glass, they either drink it straight or they pour it in a shot glass and they drink their troubles away. So you think. So they use alcohol as a painkiller or they'll turn around and light up a cigarette to calm their nerves, right? But the most prevalent one is the alcohol. You always see some, there's a problem. What, what happens to people discussing the problem? Somebody walks over to the bar or to the kitchen and they say, what would you like to drink? Well, you know, coffee, tea, you got anything stronger? Programming. The program says, when you have a problem, go to the liquor. When you have a problem, drink that alcohol. When you have a problem, get drunk. Now, problem number two, another program. You get frustrated, go outside, light up a cigarette. Puff your troubles away. Problem three, you have a problem. You have a serious challenge going on in your life. What are you supposed to do? You go to your friend. You get comfort, right? But when you get comfort from your friend, you don't just get comfort. They love you out of your problem. The comfort scene turns into a seduction scene. And the two of you are not wrapping your arms around each other in comfort. You're wrapping each other, you're wrapping around each other in that bed, getting ready to get it on. Now what does having sex have to do with you going over a friend's house to lift up their spirits? What does the sex have to do with that? Programming. Programming. You have a person on the on the screen, they're playing an actor that has been living clean and sober, they're doing great. And what happens? Life happens and boom. What do you do with this problem? You go and you search out the drug dealer that, that got you hooked up and messed up in the first place. Now you're clean and sober, you're loving it. But no, you go back to your old beggarly mess and you go find that drug dealer and you shoot up or you get high, whatever. And that's how you handle your problem. What the media is telling you is you cannot handle your problem without the help of artificial stimulation. You can't handle your problem. You can't calm down without liquor. You can't calm down without popping a pill every other minute. You can't calm your nerves. You can't wake yourself up without popping a pill. You can't do anything without them drugs. Oh, you gotta have those drugs, baby. You gotta get high. You gotta uh, satisfy your needs. You, you have a problem with your kid. You go somewhere and you have sex with somebody outside of your marriage. I mean, it's like, it's all a program. And the sad part is you guys believe it. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I remember movies that would show women being rough handled by their men and the men would throw them in the bed and they, 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 uh, you know, they wouldn't show the scene, but you know what was coming. Well, then they would show the next thing they'd have an argument and then they'd break up. And then they're in heartache. 
and then they'd make her, and then they'd break her, and they'd make her, and they'd break her, and they'd make, I mean, it just, and people grew up thinking that drama was part of a healthy relationship. We love each other, and we hate each other, but we love each other. So the the message comes in a, a person's head, oh, they'll beat me up tonight, but after the butt whooping, we're gonna make up and we're gonna have another honeymoon. And they'll treat me like crap, but look how strong, that's a real man. No, no, oh, I'm telling you. We are literally being programmed to death. And you're going for it. You're imitating the soap operas. The soap operas have, getting, have gotten wise. The movie industry has moved from soap operas to movies to miniseries that are nothing more than another soap opera. And it keeps you coming back for more, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more. You can be programmed all you want. But let me caution you. Think when you're watching those scenes. Don't buy into the program. See it for what it is. The movie is an advertisement industry. They may not have a, an ad. They may not have a commercial interruption, but the commercial is in that man picking up that bottle of liquor. The commercial is in the woman sitting up on the couch eating a gallon of ice cream because she's depressed. Those are commercials to program you to go out and get some. That's how you handle your problems. You handle your problems like they're handling theirs and the liquor industry, the ice cream industry, the drug industry, all of that will make fat buck off of you because you're being told how to handle your problems. Reprogram yourself, get in that word. You go to God. He can take the hurt out in a minute. I'm telling you, he can take it out completely. You don't have to feel the trauma of what you're going through.